Hello, hello, hello. Give me a second. We ready to go. Just get this situated here. All right, there we go. Excellent, excellent. All right. First and foremost, hello, hello, hello. Keith Belvin here. Keith K.L. Belvin here, crisis specialist, professional counselor, author, and educational consultant. And I pray everything is well with you. So I wanted to get on live today because this is the start of Mental Health Awareness Month. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And that can mean many things for many people. But one of the things that I want you to understand that there is never a bad time to make a personal emotional and spiritual changes that is what i help with so let's get this started all right all right now let's get some housekeeping out of the way first you know you need to like this and share this but okay you have time for that at the end um you know one of the things that i realized and i want to get right into this i don't want to waste your time one of the things i realized dealing with mental health Mental health encompasses everything because everything affects us mentally. Physically, where affects our physical well being affects us mentally, our emotional well being, of course, and our spiritual or social. Now, when I say spiritual or social, I'm going to tell you why. Not everybody is of a spiritual positioning, so their interactions with other people will be their social. Where for me, I am a spiritual being, I am a man of, of, of God. So my spiritual positioning um, affects my mental uh, makeup as well. For other people, it may be their interactions with other people that affects their mental makeup. No matter what it is, there is never a bad time to make changes. And this is a great month to consider the changes um, or to make the time to invest in yourself. And again, I'll tell you why. Because there's going to be a ton of information giving out, given out by mental health clinicians from all walks of life. Now is a great time to dive in and, and start getting yourself get together for the rest of the year. With that said, I wanna read this quote. I found this the other day and I thought it was interesting and um, I wanna make sure I pay homage. It was Madeline Beck, okay? Cause you always gotta give a person credit for the comment. This comment came from Ma uh, Madeline Beck. This is why I'm sharing it, right? Okay, and it's basically, start over, my darling. Be, be brave enough to find the life you want and courageous enough to chase it. Then start over and love yourself the way you were always meant to. Wow. And I'm gonna tell you why that's important. Many of you who know me know I, mo I work mostly with women between the ages of 35 and, 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 and 70. But I do work with some men and I do work with some children and I do work with some couples. But my target is, is ladies between the ages of 35 and 70. And often what I have found in working with women so exclusively is the damage <clears throat> that they hold on to while still taking care of a family, still taking care of the household, still holding things down for everybody else but themselves. I've seen this with my mom. So much so that often when a lot of these sisters close their eyes and leave this planet, too many leave alone. And I want to try to do something to change that. And so with this being Mental Health Awareness Month, we need to start stepping up and making changes. So I am here as a professional counselor. So if you need to speak to me, I would love to speak to you. Um, I would love to set up a, a free discovery session with you to see if I'm the person who can actually help you or whatever is wrong. But again, I want to read this quote before I get into what I'm talking about. Start over, my darling. Be brave enough to find the life you want and courageous enough to chase it. Then start over and love yourself the way you should all the way you were always meant to. Now I want you to put it in the chat, right? Put this in the chat. If you are a person who has placed love on hold for somebody else. Put that in the chat. Put a one in the chat. If you have placed 
someone else ahead of your own feelings, so much so that it left you empty when things didn't work out. Put a one in the chat. I'll wait. And I think it's important because I've seen this a lot. I've seen a lot of people come to me, tell me that they, they want help, and I'm here for it. And then when we start to peel back the layers of the onion, find out that often they gave away their happiness. In some cases, gave away their happiness. And in some other cases, it was taken away just because the circumstances of what they were dealing with was so overwhelming, they just never regained their happiness. And then some people just lost their happiness. It happens, just lost it. We get older and, and we kind of forget what happiness is. I asked this question on TikTok. I think I asked it on Facebook and IG as well. What does real happiness feel like to you? And when I asked the question, I knew some women were going to say, I don't know what real happiness is. I've never felt it. I knew that. I just wasn't prepared for how many were going to say it. And that is the one thing that I can say in, in working with women that a lot of men don't understand. They don't understand that how many women have sacrificed their happiness for their children, somebody else's children, or for a man. And for some ladies too. We have to be respectful of all gender choices. Now, before you men get up in arms, you're why you always talk about the women. Before you brothers get up in arms, a lot of brothers have placed themselves in positions where they have lost their happiness as well, gave it away, or just had to dig into their responsibilities and just don't know how to be happy. And often with us brothers is we never actually knew how to deal with our emotions to begin with. Many of us were lost from youth, never taught to not only express our emotions, but how to deal with them when they come. We were told just to suck it up. Don't give in to them. You better not be soft. Many of us brothers were trained that if we cried, there was something wrong with us. Please put a one in the chat, men. I actually know, ladies too. Put a one in the chat if you have been around and heard, or you yourself have told your young men in your lives, you better not start crying. You better not be on no soft whatever. And there's other words that we use. How many of us have told young men around us not to give in to human characteristics? It is a human characteristic to feel emotion and to cry. And many of us have trained our young men to not even believe that to be the case. So then we wonder why they get older and they're so devoid of feeling. Either way, men and women are out here hurting. Many women are out here feeling it physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So the biggest question is, how do we change? it? How do we fix something that we know to be so direly wrong? Well, I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you. One of the ways that we fix this is one, getting professional counseling, getting professional therapy, turning to a professional coach, turning to someone outside of yourself to help you find yourself. Yeah. Many of us go to church, but we don't actually use church as a resource. I create or help create mental health ministries, meaning that I talk to churches and get the churches to assist other people in dealing with whatever might be wrong and actually offering financial assistance because that's the other thing that stops a lot of people from getting help. I know. I've had people say, Keith, I would love to work with you. I can't afford you. I get it. But we have to make the changes and make the things necessary for us to get the help that we need. And that's why I try to find ways to, to get people to help so they can get the services. But this month right here, this is going to be a very big month if you want to make changes for you. There's going to be tons of information, tons of workshops, just tons of online information this month here. This is a great month to dive in 
and start working on the things that you need to do. Now, I've been spending time on TikTok. I'm still on IG, not as much. And I'm definitely here on Facebook. And my YouTube page is where all this stuff is being filmed. So it's filming here on um, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And with that, my goal is to try to open up doors for people to feel comfortable with turning to me for assistance. That's why I come on for when I turn this camera on, it's not just to be entertaining. I'm hoping that I'm entertaining. Yes. But I'm more so hoping that I've given you reason to want to say, you know what? I'm going to turn to this brother for help. I'm going to invest in myself and pay for a professional counselor. And I want Keith KL Belvin to be that counselor. That's my hope. Does it always pan out? No, I would be lying if I said it did. But here's the beautiful thing is, yes, enough people say, yes, Keith, I want you to work with me. And I've been fairly successful at it. And if I'm not the person, then I try to find the person for that person. If I can't help you, I definitely ain't going to hurt you. I'm going to try to find somebody who can help you. I roll with other counselors and I have been able to, to set you up and set other people up with other people who can help them. And I got other people on deck who's ready to step in to help. So if you want help, you're going to get help. So I don't know who needed this today. What I do know is that somebody right now is physically hurting and that's affecting them mentally. Somebody right now is struggling with, with negative emotions. And somebody right now is feeling spiritually empty or socially empty. I don't know who that is, but I know somebody who may see this is. And I want to let you know right here, right now, if you really want help, it's out here. I'm here. My links are in my bio, my discovery links. You go to my bio, click on the link tree link. You will see discovery call. Click that and you'll get to set up a free call with me. Because I want to be able to see what I can offer. Don't say I can't afford you. You don't know what I charge. Well, maybe you do. But we'll figure it out. My price is my price, as, as Fat Joe says. But there's always a way. Always. It may not be readily available. We'll figure it out together. Because in the end, peace of mind is what you're gaining. You're gaining somebody who's going to help pull you out of those doldrums, help lift you up out of the darkness that you're in physically, emotionally, or spiritually. That's what I do. So as we start this month off, I will be popping on from different times throughout the month. I, I'll, I'll be posting. I always post. I think I post daily. I just don't, I mean, I go live daily, but I'll definitely be coming on more often during this month because this month right here is a big month. This is the month that you start over. This is the month that you move into motion. I just redid my calendar, uh, my weekly calendar, my monthly calendar, because I made some changes in my own personal life, some things that I wanted to address for me. And I didn't even hesitate. I said, let me order the stuff that I need. I'm not playing because I, I need to make some changes to myself also. I'm in a good space mentally, but there's some things I need to address and I'm addressing those because I wanna be more of the example of that I'm trying to set when I'm in session. And my doctor was like, my new doctor, I had to get rid of my old one. Oof. That's another thing too. If your medical care is not what it's supposed to be and you're paying for it, you better get you somebody who's gonna be honest with you and cares about you. So uh, my new doctor, pretty cool. We're gonna see where it goes. So I'm working on that part too, but I've, I've been working on that, but you know, just to stay where I need to be at and work on it. So again, I share with you because somebody has to let you know it's rough out here. Yes, but there's ways to get through everything. Are you ready? Are you ready to start all over? Like the quote says, and I'm going to read the quote again before I jump off here, right? Start over my darling. Be brave enough. Very great point. Be brave enough to find the life you want. And that is super important. Do you know what you want? Do you want to be healthier physically? Do you want to be healthy, healthier emotionally? Do you want to be healthier spiritually? And then the courageous enough to chase it. That's why this quote stands out to me because that's something that I share with folks. Are you brave enough to go after the things that you want to change? Say you want to change. I hold you to that. When you tell me, I ask that question to everybody that I deal with. What is it that you want? 
What is it that you say you want? Because when you tell me what you want, I'm going to help you and hold you accountable to going and get it. Here's another one. Then start over and love yourself. Let me tell you why that's super important. I'm going to be very honest with you. You know how many people I meet that don't love themselves? I'm going to give you a minute with that one. All right, let me do it this way. Put a one in the chat because I don't want you to out yourself. So let's do it this way. Put a one in the chat if at any point in your life you lost a little love for yourself. I don't want to ask you now. I don't want anybody to out themselves right now. If you want to be transparent and say right now, Keith, I'm not, that's okay. But what I want you to do is I want you to put a one in the chat if at any point in your life you've lost love for yourself. I'll put a one up a couple times. A couple times I had gotten to the point that I just did not love me. I did not like where I was. I did not like what I had became. I didn't like what I was doing. I lost love for myself. And I had to find it. Like, Tiff and I talk about this all the time. I understand why some people just check out and off themselves. I get it. Not that I agree with it, but I get it. And the last part of that quote, love yourself the way you were always meant to. Let me tell you why that's super, super big. And I keep using the word super because it's the word that just stands out to me. You have to know You were meant to be loved, to fully understand what love could be in your life. Let me say that again. You have to fully understand what love, what, what, what you were meant to be, what love was meant to be in your life, to fully embrace what love can be often because we've never experienced love. We don't know that we were born to be loved. We literally think it was, it's okay not to be loved. It's okay to be in pain. I said this the other day on social media, pain and love are not supposed to occupy the same space. They can't. You will be happy about some things and hurting about the others. And some people think that that's perfectly normal. No, when you finally, finally embrace yourself in love, true happiness, your whole world changes. Even the way you breathe changes. The way your heartbeat changes. You'll be moving into such a a mental state, you will feel that there is nothing you can't do. And the crazy part is a lot of people out here who are selling mental health awareness, they're selling you dreams that they don't possess, dreams that they've never seen. They're telling you how you could do this and be this and go here and and reach these levels that have been unattainable to them. I've seen it. I've seen it with different counselors. I've seen it with different therapists. I've seen it with different coaches. They're selling dreams. Anybody who will open up their pocketbook telling you how you could go on to be this and go on to be that. And they have not done any of those things telling you how a great marriage should be and they are not in one, telling you how great men or great women should be and they have not been. If you're not transparent about yourself, I'm not messing with you. If you can't own your own garbage and put it out there to let me know how you overcame your own trash, Don't try to sell me nothing. It's called snake oil. And if you look up snake oil salesmen, it's people who would come up with these magic elixirs and tell you that if you drink this, the whole world will change. Yeah, you'll become broke. And sometimes they would take somebody from the crowd that was a plant and they drink it and be like, now look, I can lift up this whole stage coach. And then they roll out of town with all your money. So if your coach, or your counselor, or your therapist cannot be transparent about certain issues with you to show you how they overcame certain things, leave them alone. Leave them alone. I use transparency in my counseling. I used 
transparency when I was teaching. I use transparency in my mentoring because I need for people to understand how great God is, not how great I am, how great God is, because I would not be here without God and my wife and how great other people have been that God has brought into my life to help keep me focused, to help sustain me. That it was a brother that was sharing with me all on a regular about what he had went through with his own drug addiction that helped me when I reached out. And he said, bro, I got you. And he's the one that led me to church. When we share our testimonies or share our transparency, we give people permission to be broken when they show up. But so many people are so scared to let the real them be seen that they just keep making it sound like they got everything under control, like everything is good. It's called um, being a public success while being a private failure at the same time. And this ain't the month for that. So I want to say this as I, in closing, with this being, with May being Mental Health Awareness Month, I want to challenge you to this. Are you where you want to be physically? Are you where you want to be emotionally? Are you where you want to be spiritually? And if you answered no to any one of those questions, your mental situation is affected. If you answer that you are not where you should be physically, you are not where you should be emotionally, you are not where you should be spiritually, that means you are hurting in some areas mentally. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't get work done. That doesn't mean that they're not out here doing good things. It means that you are not the full you that you can be. Reach out for some help. Reach out to me and say, Keith, I, I, wanna, I need to start counseling. I need a counselor. Okay, let's go. Go to my bio, look at my link, set up a call. Reach out, let's go. And you guys know I've been doing this a whole lot more than just this month. <laughs> I've been doing this for a couple of years. So I'm here. It's just what I do for a living now. I don't do anything else but work to help people. That's that's my life now. That's how I make my money. I literally get up every day and, and try to find ways to help people, whether it's speaking, counseling, whatever is what I do. And I don't hide from that. So whoever's seeing me, whatever time you're seeing me, if you know you need some help, it's time that you invest in you. Are you ready? And if you are, reach out. Let's set up that call. I have space. I think, yeah, I got a couple. I got a, you know, yeah, I got a couple. I got space. Not much. It's filling up. I'm actually excited by that too. My calendar is filling up. I like that because it means I'm helping a lot of people. I know some of you say, yeah, because you're making money. I'm a professional. I make money at what I do. But if my calendar fills up, that means I have a lot of opportunities to help other people and make money at the same time. That's a beautiful thing. They say, if you can make money at something that you really enjoy, it don't feel like work. And I got to be honest, I didn't believe that when I first heard it. And then I thought about it. You know what? I really did love teaching. So I didn't, it, it was, I didn't really think about money when I was teaching. And I feel the same way with counseling. I don't really don't think about it. I just enjoy talking to people and, and helping people out that it's actually pretty cool that I get paid to do it. So I was able to transition from teaching to something else that I love to do. And I'm really enjoying this. So reach out. We can talk about it. I'm here to help you. And I will use my own transparency. I will show you how I was able to put my own pain behind me to become who I am now. I have no problem. You guys know that. In my book, From Jiggle to Jesus, I talk about that. So. But again, guys, listen, I'm going to jump off. Thank you for taking the time out to rock with me. Thank you. Make sure that you like this. Make sure that you share this. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if I if I hit on something. If I didn't, tell me it was a miss. But share with me so I know what to do going forward because I'm going to keep doing what I do. But I'd rather be able to position myself to answer whatever questions that you have because then I know I'm helping you. So tell me what you need help with, and I got you. But if, if you don't do nothing else, like this, share this, leave a comment, go to my link in my bio, set up a discovery call today. Let's get on that call. Let's talk. If professional counseling is what you need in your life, I am the guy you need, okay? Have a wonderful day. Happy Mental Health Awareness Month. I will see you very soon. Take care. God bless.